Hi, I'm Joy Longfellow. I'm the product technician for Cut Flowers at Johnny Selected Seeds. I'm standing here this morning in front of our Campanula planting, and this is the cr a crop that um, we have planted in our uh, unheated overwinter and spring tunnels. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about this crop and some things to consider if you are growing it. So first of all, uh, there are both perennial and annual varieties of Campanula. But for our purposes today, I'm gonna be talking about uh, a first year flowering variety. This is Campanula medium, and this is the Champion series. These were started from seed. Um, we started them um, in 128 cell flats, and we've found that we have um, really good success germinating them with really consistent even temperatures during germination. And we find that between 65 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit, constant temperatures um, has given us the best results for our trials. For Campanula, it is uh, one thing to consider is the day length. They are day length sensitive plants and they require short days during seedling development to ensure that there's sufficient stem length and um, vegetative growth before flowering under long days. So flowering is triggered when the days start to lengthen and if they don't have enough growing time during short days, the stems, they can flower on very short stems. And so for us growing here in Maine, um, where we have a wide range in day length, that's definitely something we need to consider. And then another thing that we've found too here, Campanula can be grown outdoors, but because of our short growing season here in Maine, we find um, we've had the best results growing them in unheated tunnels, both over winter and spring planted. So just some general things about Campanula that, um, that we've appreciated here is the, the time that they bloom. They typically bloom for us in early June, and that's a really nice window where a lot of our early spring flowering crops and the bulb crops are finishing up but our field flowers aren't coming in yet and so this is a nice bridge um, in between those two groups a few other things um, that are that's really nice about campanula are the sturdy stems that kind of upward facing bells that you can see on these they hold up well in bouquets and have a good vase life and then um, they do they are quite productive too as you can see there's a lot of um, stems on these plants they typically produce one central stem and then multiple side shoots and the central stem um, especially in this planting you can see is a little bit thicker and um, kind of bushier and so this is maybe a little less desirable or can be a little bit bulky um, mixing into like mixed bunches or things like that and so it's possible that these would benefit from pinching out that central stock um, to kind of direct a little bit more of the plant's energy towards the side shoots um, but that's that's not what we've done here um, i think it just depends on your market and what your end use of these stems is another thing that we've found helpful for Campanula is making sure that we're providing enough support. So these have a single layer of Hortonova, um, but we've also found as they grow, they are quite um, dense and some of the outer stems can tend to flop into the aisle. So we have added an extra layer of string just on the outside of this planting to kind of keep things contained. And then an, another thing to consider is the stage of harvest. This planting is kind of well past the ideal harvest stage with all of these bloomed out. Um, but we, but what you would want to look for probably is when you have just one to two bells starting to open on the stem. And that is when you would want to harvest. So this is probably a little bit more of an appropriate example of that. <music>